Hello everyone. So this is the arrow throwing robot that has been designed by the team NIT Durgapur as per the Robocon theme 2021. So let's talk about its various features and the various tasks it has to do. So firstly we have used Omni wheels to provide mobility to our robot. Uh, some of the major tasks that the robot has to perform are firstly it has to pick up uh, these five arrows from a ar uh, arrow deck and store them and then shoot them one by one to desired targets so for that purpose we have used an arm arrangement like this which can be operated in a manner like this so like this the arms can be operated now at the end of all the five arms there is a pair of grippers like this so with the help of this gripper the arrow body can be gripped and these grippers are basically operated with the help of this linear actuator like this as you can see we can close and open the gripper by operating this linear actuator and this linear actuator can uh, operate all the grippers at once so once we have gripped all the five arrows perfectly we will again move this entire arrangement to its initial position just like this and in doing so we will have successfully picked up the five arrows from the uh, arrow rack and placed them into these five slots which are made on the uh, conveyor bit now after placing the arrows in these five slots we will again move our arm arrangement to this position for picking up the next set of five arrows once all the five arrows that have been picked up and stored in the slots have been shot so for the purpose of shooting a uh, rack and pinion mechanism is used the pinion is basically can be engaged and disengaged with the help of this uh, electromagnetic clutch and uh, here the clutch is now in engaged position and it can be disengaged like this so uh, the pinion can be rotated with the help of a motor and by rotating the um, pinion we can just uh, pull down a, this rack and in doing so we will uh, extend this spring one is here and the other is here so by extending the springs we will uh, basically store elastic potential energy in this spring and once the required extension is uh, provided to the spring so that the arrow can be shot to a dis uh, required target uh, at some required velocity this uh, clutch can be disengaged and all the uh, energy in the spring can be released as at once and the rack will then move to its initial position and in doing so it will give uh, the arrow a certain velocity which will be its projection velocity here the projection angle is basically 45 degrees once this arrow has been shot this um, uh, slot has become empty so now what is required to be done is that we will just rotate our uh, this conveyor belt uh, through a required uh, distance so that this slot comes in this position and once this slot is in this position as you can see there is a vertical support at this position which basically prevents this uh, arrow from sliding downwards here the vertical support has been removed so in this position the arrow will basically slide downwards and again come in contact with this surface of the rack and again the same uh, rack and pinion mechanism can be used to shoot the arrows like this all the five arrows can be shot one by one and that's all about our arrow throwing robot now let's talk about the various specifications of the defense robot Def, uh, designed by our team as per the theme of the Robocon 2021 so this is the defense robot uh, uh, in this robot we have used mechanum wheels to provide mobility now it has uh, one very major task of collecting the various 
arrows that will be lying around in the arena for that purpose we have again used a kind of conveyor belt mechanism which is driven with the help of this chain and sprocket mechanism this sprocket here is rotated with the help of a motor which is here so there are hooks and this hook arrangement is fixed to this sprocket uh, sorry uh, to the chain now by rotating the sprocket we can rotate this hook arrangement and this hook arrangement is designed in such a way that the tip of the hook just grazes the ground so now uh, what is required to be done is that we will align our robot with the help of these wheels in such a way that uh, the hook arrangement can pass uh, through the narrow gap in between the arrow body lying on the ground and the ground and thus the hooks can be used to pick up the arrow and thus by rotating and the sprocket and moving this arrangement the picked up arrow can be moved from down here to this uppermost position and on further uh, rotation of this arrangement the hooks can just turn in a way like this uh, from this position they will turn and throw the picked up arrow into this funnel kind of structure where it will again slide down the walls of the funnel and fall into this slot and this slot is basically the slot of the shooting mechanism and then the arrow can be shot to the desired target this shooting mechanism also works in the same uh, manner as that of the uh, arrow shooting robot so now let's talk about the other functions uh, the one of the other function that the defense robot has to perform is that there will be some parts which will be uh, fixed on some rotating tables and the defense robot will have to rotate the table with the help of a handle fixed on the table uh, so that the opponent's arrow cannot uh, enter the pot so for that purpose this arm like structure has been designed uh, so to reach and the handle first we will have to control the particular height that the gripper uh, has to reach in order to be in a be in the same plane as that of the handle so for that purpose this mechanism is used where a screw joint has been made with this link and this threaded shaft can be rotated with the help of a motor and in doing so we can move this link upward and downwards like this so after uh, reaching the required height we will just stop the rotation of the motor and thus fix uh, the posi uh, position that is give fix the particular height and after that with the uh, with the help of this two angular actuators we can rotate the arm and the gripper head respectively like this so with the help of the angular actuator this arm can be rotated like this and simultaneously with the help of this angular actuator we can rotate this gripper so by simultaneously controlling the rotation of both the arm and this gripper portion we can give the rotating table a turning motion this is how this particular mechanism will function now this mechanism is basically a arrow interception mechanism this mechanism uh, will basically work like this here as you can see there is a chain and sprocket mechanism used which is used to control the height of uh, this particular arrangement like this with the help of this chain and press sprocket mechanism we can move this entire arrangement downward and upward according to the requirement so first what we will require to do is that we will uh, just take our robot to arrow uh, lying on the ground and then move this link such that this gripper portion can grip the arrow body after it has successfully gripped the arrow body this uh, link will again be moved upwards like this and after that the robot will be moved to such a position that the arrow is directly above the mouth of a pot in which the opponent arrows 
is required to enter so once it is in that position we can basically uh, provide the body of the arrow swinging mo uh, motion with the help of an angular actuator at this position like this and this thus give a swinging uh, motion to the arrow uh, and by swinging the arrow uh, above the mouth of the pot we can prevent an opponent's arrow from entering the pot so this is how the interception technique will work for some precision factors we have also used a telescopic uh, mechanism like this to con specifically control the height of the arrow above the mouth of the pot so this telescopic mechanism functions like this it maybe we can contract it like this or we can expand it like this according to requirement this is basically controlled with the help of this particular uh, actuator this rotates this bevel gear which in turn rotates this bevel gear uh, attached to this shaft and as the shaft rotates it pulls the spring uh, and keeps it uh, spinning uh, over the shaft as a result this entire structure will first move up like this and on reaching this particular position again this particular part will move up like this and this entire structure can be contracted or expanded uh, accordingly like this so that's all about our defense robot so thank you guys hope you like the video thank you